are ya? Welcome to Happy Rails to ya. My name is Hobo Pep, and I've been riding the rails looking for an adventure to share with ya. Boy, have I got a story for ya today. Let me find a place to rest these weary bones. We'll see what treasure I've got for ya in my bindle. You know, my hobo sack. Come on. Welcome back to Hobo Pap's Hobo Jungle. I hope you've had a good week. I know I've had a busy week. I've been looking all around for the perfect adventure for you. And boy, have I found a great story for you today. Let's see what the adventure is in the bindle. I'm really excited to show you this one. I think you're really gonna like it. It could be life changing. This week's adventure is how to train a train. Now, you may have a pet dog or a pet cat or a pet goldfish at home, but did you ever think about asking for a pet train? Well, if not, and you're interested in a pet train, well, this book is going to teach you how to catch a train, how to feed a train, and how to take care of a train. Come on, let's read. How to Train a Train by Jason Carter Eaton, illustrated by John Rocco. So you want a pet train? Well, of course you do. Trains make awesome pets. They're fun, playful, and extremely useful. Lucky for you, this handy guidebook contains everything you need to know to choose, track, and train your very own pet train. Ready? Then let's head out and find some trains. Different trains live in different places. Freight trains live in the countryside and travel in herds. Monorail trains live in the city and travel alone. Early steam engines pretty much just sit in museums. Have you decided which sort of train you'd like? Great. Now you need to catch one. There are lots of ways to catch a train. Some people will corner it. Others might use a big net to trap it. Still others will run the track into quicksand. True, these methods all work, but I'm going to show you the best way. First, get up really early in the morning and find a good hiding spot close to some trains. Now the hard part. Sit quietly and wait, and wait, and wait some more. As the sun rises, the trains will begin to stir and start their engine. Watch them work and play. It's only natural that you'll want to take home all the trains, but don't just grab the first one you see. Take your time and choose one that's right for you. Got one? Time to make your move. Send a puff of smoke high into the air. Perfect. You've got the train's attention. If you brought any coal with you, now would be the time to offer it. Try saying, my, what a handsome train you are. Next, make the call of the wild train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Well done. Here he comes. How will you know if the train you caught is the one? Don't worry, you'll know. Once you get your train home, you'll want to give it a name. Some popular train names are Milo, Morgan, Nathan, Pushkin, Smokey, Pickle Puss, Captain Fufamalu, Little Miss Muffinhead, Sir Chugzalot, Sparkles. Of course, you can name your train whatever you like. Don't worry if it seems shy or scared at first. A train needs time to adjust 
to new surroundings. A warm bath can help calm a nervous train. And few trains can resist a good read aloud. If your train has trouble falling asleep at night, play soft locomotion sounds. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. This is an old conductor's trick that'll give your train good dreams. Spend as much time as you can getting to know your train. Does it prefer going fast or slow? Does it like to fetch? How does it feel about tunnels and bridges? Want to teach your train a few tricks? Easy as pie. Start with a simple trick, then move on to something a bit harder. By now, your train should trust you enough to let you ride him. But he may not trust you enough to ride in the engineer's car yet. Start off in the caboose. Good manners are important. Train your train not to leap up on people and to always wipe its wheels before going indoors. Of course, your train can't go everywhere with you. Out on the open road, you're sure to pass other kids with their pet trains, planes, trucks, or submarines. This is a great chance for both of you to make new friends. Congratulations! You've given your train fuel, water, a good home, and plenty of friendship and fun. Everything it needs to be happy. How will you know if your train is happy? Don't worry, you'll know. The end. That's how to train a train. Now the author has a little bit of warning at the end of this story. Let's read. While the author believes that it would indeed be wonderful to track, to own, and train one's very own train, he does not suggest that you make a practice out of standing in the middle of train tracks, just as he does not suggest swimming in a train's bathtub without adult supervision, or traveling to the desert without an adequate water supply, an SPF 1000 sunblock, or building a fire by yourself, or operating a train without the proper paperwork or disobeying traffic laws, or walking across a train trestle several thousand feet up from the ground. All of these things are extremely dangerous and should be performed only by fully trained, illustrated characters, just like the train in How to Train a Train. Now the author brings up some very important points here. We have to be very careful when it comes to train safety. You should never walk on or near a train track. It doesn't even matter if there's no train coming because you never know when there's a train coming around the bend and you may not have time to hop off the train. So be sure never to get on train tracks. Also, the train trestles, the big tall train bridges, never get on those either. They're very dangerous. And never hop on or hop off of a moving train. Be sure you always have help getting on or getting off of a train and only when it's stopped. Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, so long. Thank you for joining me for today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed. Always remember, continue riding the rails of your imagination as it will take you on an endless number of adventures around the world. Until next time, this is Hobo Chap saying so long as I go hop on a rattler in search of our next adventure. Happy reels to ya.